you have to contend with in your overall strategy is you. What are you willing to do and what are you doing? That is very important. Too many times you may look at the market and say, oh my gosh, I can't enter the market. But wait a minute, but what are you trying to do to enter the market and how can you fit in? You gotta look at that. And the visitor, there's only three stories. Why is the visitor coming? What are you gonna do with and for that visitor? And what's the overall market demographic? What's going on in the marketplace? You see how one builds on the other and actually holds buoyancy in the marketplace? This is how you make all the money in the world, is when you get into a stream where there's already money. Y'all are like writing really fast here. Am I saying too much? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm from New York. I speak good, just speak good to all right? So start. So we gotta get your, your strategy. And forget about the, the technical strategy. Story, what's the story? And if the more compelling that story is, the better off you will be, and you can connect with people who resonate with your story. Stop worrying about the people who don't connect with you. So what? I'll say that again. If, so what? It doesn't matter. Now, next thing you have to do is when you're entering into your market, you know, you got to have a to-do list. So you get this story going, and then you say, okay, now to make this story work from where I am to where I'd like to be, there is some things that have to be done. And guess what? Machines don't do anything. People do stuff. So it's a who. Now either it's going to be you or a who. You or someone else is going to have to do the stuff that needs to be done. Whether it means build the website, call the designer, get the hosting in place. I'm going to tell you a quick story. There's a little girl that, that I'm very familiar with. She's my daughter. She is six years old. She said, Daddy, I want to build a website. I said, really? <coughs> and look in there. Watch what happened here. I said, all right. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show her how to use front page or Dreamweaver. And I said, wait a minute. That's not going to work. I said, honey, let me show you how Daddy would build a site. Watch this. Bring, bring. Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie's my designer. I need you to build a website. No, better yet. I said, let me let you talk to my daughter. She's going to tell you some things. And I said, honey, tell her you want to build a site on fire extinguishers. OK. Stephanie, my daddy says, that I, you see? Daddy says, build me X. Click, phone went away. Called her back. By the way, what is your rate? That's the part she didn't ask, OK? <laughs> But when it was all over, well, look, made the phone call, got the site designed, site went up. Bring, bring, called the copywriter. Copywriter, write me some copy on X. Put the phone down. Call him back. By the way, what is your rate? Okay? <laughs> Design is done. Copy is done. Guess what? Hosting, domain name, in and out, $500. Little girl, six-year-old, has a site. Up. Going. Did she go through the rigmarole of the design and all that other stuff that we get all bogged in? No. I wouldn't let her, because that's not how you make money in the marketplace. Let's quick lesson outsourcing there. Did you catch it? All right. Tactics, things to do. Strategy, then tactics. You have to have a story first, and then you can do something with them. You have to plan. We talked about that part already. The plan is what will get you from there to somewhere else. And timing. When is it going to be done? This idea of I'm going to get it done someday is not going to get anything done. Put a date and a time on it and a place and it will happen. And what resources do you have? If you don't have any resources, guess what? When you have the story, and you have your to-do list, the resources will find themselves out. It, 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 you know, it kind of like will shake out and you'll say, you know what? I don't know how to do that. Well, well you go find out. Or oh, I do know how to do that. I don't have to get someone to do that for me. Now, you're going to have to actually do something with this. You now have a plan. You've done some strategy work. You have a tactic. Guess what? We forget this part. Get it done. Good, wonderful plans are great. It gives you the same visceral response about, of doing it because you have this nice thing written on a piece of paper. Great. If you don't get it done, nothing will ever happen. This part is the most important part of it, but you can't get here until you actually have the story and you have the tactics and the do list laid out and you know what your resources are. And it's not always money that you need. Sometimes the skill sets, you can come, become very creative in asking people to do stuff for a bartering of what you're good at. If you can write well, there are plenty of businesses right now that need writers. Guess what? You can barter that with a designer because most designers don't write. Most writers don't design. Most people who do SEO don't do anything else except 
tweak around with Google. Guess what? If you do something that the other person doesn't do, guess what? It's infinitely valuable to them, but low value to you because you do it, just like a doctor. A doctor can come in and do brain surgery and think nothing of it because he's forgotten that he spent the last umpteen years learning how to do that. We are the same with all of our businesses. We have a blind spot. Now, after you've done the thing, 